nobody died as far as I know. And it is securely one of the most interesting hikes I've ever done. I'll tell you guys why that is and what to expect. So here we go. Welcome, welcome guys. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can get to the old airplane wreck in the Pacific Rim National Park close to Tofino. That was a long sentence. Please allow me to put these on because I'm sitting in the harbor in Victoria and it's very bright despite it being the beginning of December. It's a beautiful day outside, but um, yeah, I'll put these on so I can see better what's going on. of an overview the Pacific Rim National Park is located in the Midwest of Vancouver Island there's a small town called Tofino it's known for surfing it's known for hiking for relaxing or just to get away which is very easy to do there because apart from that there's not much there In the hike, during the hike, in the hike, at the hike, when you do the hike, you know what I mean? You will see an old airplane that crashed on February 12th, 2019, 45. <laughs> 1945, I'm sorry. At the end of World War II, it crashed shortly after landing. I'm not sure if it was shot down or not, I guess not. How you get there is the following. When you come from Tofino, you have about a 15 minute drive, then you find Radar Hill Car Park. Google that or I can also link it in the description for you. That's where you leave your car, you pay your parking fees, because that's what you gotta do there, in the national park, and then you take your backpack and everything, and you head back to the main road. When you're at the highway, you turn right on the same side you're at, and you count 15 telephone poles. When you get to the 15th pole, you'll see a small airplane marked with a sharpie into the wood. And that's where you walk into the woods, that's where the trail starts. Once you hit into the woods, you just keep walking for about 10 to 15 minutes. After that, you will arrive at an old abandoned building. You don't go in, you just go sort of around it, and that's where the trail actually starts. You've got all kinds of ribbons. I've seen pink ribbons, blue ribbons, orange ribbons. Just follow these and they'll lead you straight to the plane. This is where the tricky part comes in. It's not really a long hike, but you will need a lot of time because you are going to be going through the mud. If you've seen a lot of the rings, just think about the scene where Sam, Wise, Gamchi and Frodo walk through the mudlands. even in the summer months it's very muddy so make sure you take some clothes that can get dirty that I don't want to say you throw them away but they're gonna get very dirty so make sure you have the appropriate stuff with you from the people that I've met I don't think anybody really had I saw one person with really appropriate shoes of water around lots and lots of water after a while you'll get to the airplane it's sitting on the hill 
and it's not really that damaged as if you would expect from a plane crash. It kind of sits in the hill. I guess it, it kind of landed in the mudlands and then kind of just went uphill and it's just sitting there. It looks like the plane just landed there in the tree because the tail's sticking out. And yeah, just stayed like it there for over 70 years. Crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode about the old airplane wreck in the Pacific Rim National Park near Tofino. If you've liked the video, make sure you give it a like, you subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in one of the next episodes, guys. Have a good one.